And so it was basically, you know, it brought me down to a huge depressed state, man, because it's like, man, that's all you had, decisions, you know, but I felt let down by the organization, bro. I felt let down. I felt betrayed. I was like, man, fuck Mitchell. You know, fuck these other cats. You know, so that's why I decided to fucking cooperate. Hey, I just, um, watched this video where Flacco, from a convict's perspective, which is a great channel that you should go check out, these two guys were in Nuestra Familia, which is a prison gang that actually branched out to the streets, and, uh, you know, they're no longer a part of that life, and I respect the fat fact that Flacco is honest about why he informed, why he cooperated. It's so many guys out there that, uh, you know, hide that fact, but he puts it out there, he explained, he, I mean, he explained why he did it, and he has the perspective of he was right, you know. And another thing that I want to speak on is um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Flacco, but Flacco, based on the videos that I've seen on his channel, he came up in a privileged way. Um, his mom allowed him to drive her luxury vehicles when he was young. She's a real estate agent. And I think that's something that uh, is very integral, 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 whatever the word is, to the story in the sense that it's a lot of guys out there who get caught up in gang life, uh, you know, they get caught up in these uh, organizations, these criminal organizations, these, this organized crime, and a lot of these guys join that organization, not because they had to financially, you know, not because, hey, they had no other choice but to join a criminal organization because that was their only source of income or they didn't have any family, no family system or support. So the only way that they felt a sense of family was through the organization. You know, it's a lot of guys out there who get involved in these organizations simply because it's fun and the brotherhood and things like that. And I think that's the mistake. You know, a guy like Flacco, he grew up very privileged. You know, like I said, his mother makes a lot of money. She's a real estate agent till this day. And uh, they tell stories about how Flacco had a white, nice Cadillac, newer model Cadillac in the 90s that his mom allowed him to drive. And it's just, um, I look at it like this. Street organizations are for street people. And when I say street, I'm talking about people who are disenfranchised. You know, you've got people out there who don't have family. You've got people out there who were born into complete poverty, drug addicted, drug addicted parents, people who grew up in such a volatile, crazy way. You can understand why they join gangs, you know, or, or organizations, you know. They, they, they need that sense of family or that's their only outlet to make something of themselves in life. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of people who don't fit under those conditions join gangs because it's fun and because they like a couple of the guys that are in the gang and they make the decision to commit to this organization. But what they're forgetting is this is a street organization. Flacco explained that he informed on his former get on his former organization who asked familiar because he was upset with an individual and he was upset at uh the way that people were treating him so he decided hey these guys aren't for me so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna turn turn them in and the thing that i don't get about that is when you join a criminal organization you have to understand that your individuality is out the window you're no longer afforded the opportunity to think from the perspective of i or me, you have to. You, I mean, you've you've joined an organization where there there are no eyes or you's or me's. You know, it's all about the organization. You know, you guys are functioning as a single entity, a single body. You're not functioning as an individual. When you decide to join these criminal organizations, you know, you, you just don't have the privilege of thinking about you. You have to do what's best for the organization, even if people in the organization are doing things that you perceive as unfair or unrighteous, you still have to understand that, hey, you are a part of the organization. The organization isn't a part of you. You know, you have to roll with the punches and you have to uh, do things that you're going to be uncomfortable doing because you're supposed to be a part of the body and doing what's best for the whole. So sometimes you're going to have to deal with conditions and attitudes and behaviors and unsavory people who you personally don't like. But if you want it to be personal, then you shouldn't have committed yourself to an organization that takes away your personality, takes away your individuality. You know, if you felt like, hey, I want to operate based on individuality and what's best for me and what's best for my emotional state, then you should have been on your own. Because when you decide to join a street organization, then you forfeited that right. At least that's how I view it. But like I said, I understand that he, you know, I respect the fact that he 
and you know that he kept it real yeah I informed but like I said I think this is a great lesson because you know it's a lot of guys out there who aren't really from the streets when I say from the streets I mean that you were birthed in the streets you were born in the gutter under the most inhumane circumstances those are the people who I can understand why they join these organizations but for somebody who was privileged and had all the financial blessings in the world I just think they got caught up in that lifestyle because they wanted to and they thought it was fun and that's why I think it's uh, you got two, two different types of people in the world you got street people who understand the consequences of that lifestyle and when they have to take their lick and do life they do it you know then you have people who join the organization but they still want to look at themselves as an individual they still want to make decisions based off based off them how they feel what's best for them so it just goes to show you you know when you join these groups you have to be all in you have to look at yourself as uh, as, as you have to do what's best for the body not what's best for you so if you don't feel that way then don't join these groups and once again peace to flacco